You're watching your Feel Good Breakfast show. This is Expresso. We're live on SABC3. Well, exciting stuff is, well, the seasons are changing, so it's time to replant our edible gardens. And here to help us explain seasonal change and how it affects our food, literally, is Ben Gates from Urban Harvest. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Great pleasure. I see this beautiful garden. It's got so many nice smells that comes out of it. But first, let's touch on what is a seasonal garden or even seasonal planting, as we call it. Well, essentially, you can plant vegetables all year round, but you can't plant all vegetables all year round. So seasonal planting is which vegetables to plant at which time of the year in which location. So it is location specific. It is location specific yes. as well. So it brings me to this, it's autumn. Which vegetables are best to plant in autumn? Again, depends on where you are, but right now we're in Western Cape. There's quite a wide variety. Um, celery, lettuce, bulb onions, leeks, cabbage, broccoli, turnips, carrots. There is quite a large list, so it is a very important for you to get um, a local seasonal planting guide so you know what to plant and when. People also talk about companion planting. Yes. What is companion planting? Um, so now we know what to plant when. Companion planting is what to plant with what. Right. Um, so for example, we have here uh, celery, soup celery, lettuce, and spring onion. That's a lovely combination. Um, we've also got lettuce and Swiss chard. Um, um, there's a lot of uh, combinations which do work well together. Are there combinations that don't work well together? Yes. Um, for example, uh, tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, generally, the onion family, so that includes um, garlic, spring onions, bulb onions, leeks, do not like to grow with ah, beans, right, right, right. Uh, but they tend to grow well with almost everything else. So you really need to get your seasonal planting guide and a companion planting guide, and that's how you can start mapping out your garden. You, you're talking about mapping out, and I would imagine, like here, and the example is here in our espresso garden as well, that there are benefits to companion planting. Absolutely. Um, one thing, for example, is the this is very intensely planted. It's very full. By companion planting, you can fit more vegetables into right. a smaller space, which is ideal for an urban environment. Also helping to keep the soil healthy, keep pest um, populations at a minimum, um, and even improve the flavor of your food. Now, speaking of flavor, there's some flavors here as well. Uh, about planting, yes. new plants, can you show us how to go about and doing it? Absolutely. Firstly, I'll just tell you what we've got sure. here. This is Mizuna. It's an Asian uh, green. Right. Um, very lovely cut and come again lettuce it will last all all through winter this one is um uh, mustard lettuce. I love it, also, it's pretty. It yeah. is pretty and it actually gets uh, the red and the, the purples come out um, over time. And then we've got leeks here. I'll start with the leeks um, because they, if you're growing seedlings they'll normally grow right. a, in a bunch. You need to very carefully separate. This is one leek and you ah, plant one okay. leek at a time. It's got a slightly old leaf here so we'd break that off. Um, and then literally open up a space make and sure and i see you using your hands i mean yes. is it as simple as that it is i'm i like to use my hands i like <laughs> to get my hands dirty, dirty so right. um you could use a small spade but actually you get more detail with it with your hands with so your hands. um when putting the roots in it's important that the roots are facing down you don't want a situation where they uh, curl up right. so literally put it on the side guide the roots in carefully and with that you can also feel where they're going exactly and you want to tuck um tuck the soil around the plants quite neatly. I'll just do these two I see quickly. why you're doing it with your hands. If you just joined in, we are uh, talking about seasonal planting and uh, Ben Gates from Urban Harvest is showing us exactly how to do it. So get your fingers right in there. Make sure that the roots don't curl up because you are... Okay, that was fairly easy. Right? Quick and easy. <laughs> and that's a nice companion planting situation okay. there. Ben, thank you so much. Great pleasure. Companion planting for this autumn and now you know exactly how to do it. Getting your hands dirty and making sure that you're gardening uh, this autumn. Well, something else that's happening on the show is a lot of people were mesmerized and I must say also surprised on the 26th of April uh, at uh, uh, the Decorex uh, uh, occasion when they were surprised by a flash mob. Now, I want to talk to the guys who are behind all of this, but uh, the Caesar Stone stand were mesmerized by a whole group of people that totally broke out into song and dancing. Take a look at this.